doing. My work week just started. Today was my Monday. It's all good. Time goes by super fast on my job. It's one nice thing. Time does go by really fast. Sometimes almost too fast. I know that sounds weird, but it's always like the hour right before the food needs to be ready to go. Very frenzied activity. Slight taste of what it's like to be in the middle of a dinner service and you got a line of tickets, but completely different. Still good. Bam! If this is your first time visiting this channel, please sub. I know that's just what everybody says, but that's what everybody says. Drop a subscription, become part of the Goddear Pops Legion. Whatever. Um, and for those of you that have been subbed for a while, I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for always watching my videos, supporting my little journey through the Funko world. Hit that thumbs up button, the like button, get the algorithm working, get my video out there for other people to see, and uh, ring the bell if you want, share, not sure how that works, and my new favorite thing, download. Hit that download button. Don't hit the download button. I don't know why that thing even exists. Leave a comment if you've ever downloaded a video and tell me why. Why would you download a video? I did mention in a previous video that I guess you could download videos if you planned on being someplace that didn't have internet access and you just wanted a library of videos on your computer to watch. I don't know. Yeah, it's good times. So like I said, it's my Monday. We got three more days of work to go. I bought a lot of things on my days off. I missed out on that Pop King Paul drop. It's pretty sad. Well, I wasn't super sad about the $500 one, which we talked about in another video. I am super sad that I missed out on the $125 one. And I blame that on you guys, because I was recording a video when that dropped for you. The way my mind works is, okay, well, you were willing to spend this much money on a mystery box. Might as well spend some of that on some purchases get some new additions to the collection so I did I don't even remember everything about I mean I remember a couple things and this was all on like Sunday and Monday of this week I know I said today is my Monday well today is Wednesday one of the things that I bought on Sunday is already here and it came from New York first class package so this was something I bought off of eBay I don't remember I mean I'm sure as soon as I open it I'll be like okay yeah I remember I remember that we got something from Amazon obviously not a Funko item and then we have a mystery box as of this second right now, this is a mystery box. I could look it up to see what the purchase was, but nah. I'll just be surprised. You guys know my uniform. My off-work uniform is sweatpants, tank top, which you'll never see me without a hoodie on, probably. I mean, you have seen me with a shirt and tie on one time. For Valentine's Day and I did wear a t-shirt a couple times but this is pretty much what you're gonna see I probably should get some more hoodies I don't have a lot of them which is why 
This is my favorite. Well, the God Ear Pops one is my favorite, but I love the black. My slippers are a little old. So it was time to get some new ones. I haven't got from this brand before, but they look cool. The important thing is having an indoor and outdoor sole because I said on my days off and when I get home from work, it's what I wear. So we got some new slippers. Oh, the memory gel inside padding feels so comfy. Okay. Traction sole. These are sweet. I'm very excited to wear these. Man, that feels comfortable. I guess we won't know until we try them on, but boom. Grail. Nice. I'm excited. I love slippers. They're so comfortable. They're so nice to wear. Okay. On to the purchase. And I love this person. Well, this person shipped super fast. They use Uline boxes. You don't see that very often on eBay sellers. Most of the time, it's whatever box they could find. I've gotten boxes sent to me in diaper boxes. Um, somebody one time sent me my item in a Pepsi 12 pack box. What? Not kidding. And somehow it didn't arrive damaged. So that was lucky. It was very light. I know, I mean, you know, it's going to be Batman stuff. Maybe some Joker stuff. I don't remember buying any Batgirl stuff. That doesn't mean I didn't. Let's just find out. I'm excited. I love the mystery boxes. I like the opportunity to win. But I love pickups for the collection, which I don't know where I'm going to put this. That's a problem. Very well packaged. I Kudos to whoever this seller was. Some guy named Weldon Smith from Conesis? 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 I don't know, New York. If I think about it or remember, I'll put up his eBay seller name there. Got anything you want? You might want to go pick it up. All right. I see that it's something. There's this wasn't expensive at all, but I thought it was cool. It did ship it in a soft protector. All around excellent transaction. I think we got this for PPG with free shipping. Uh, this is sweet. Very cool. The Joker, Batman, Batman. I don't know why it's Batman twice. This was a Loot Crate exclusive. This might have been back when Loot Crate was good. Um, from what I've seen in the last year, Loot Crate sucks D. But that is super awesome. I love the suit, the purple and the yellow. You get the crazy spinny eye thing. Very, very nice. It's not part of a big series. You just got the cool art on the back with the Joker and the ha ha's. I am very, very pleased to add this to my collection. Very, very pleased. That's awesome. I can't remember what the PPG is even on it. Let's find out. Yeah, it's a 
It's a very inexpensive pop. But the fact that I'm combining two genres that I collect, and this is freaking cool. That's one of the coolest pops I own. Just I like I like the colors. They're cool. Nine dollar pop. I actually I think we paid twelve dollars with free shipping. That's what people do when they have free shipping. That's badass. That's the first of I think four or five, maybe even six things that I bought from eBay over my weekend. Nothing that I got is like crazy expensive. It's just a bunch of medium common things. One of them was a sticker upgrade, which I'm pretty excited about. And then the mystery box. Oh man, I love when I get a new pop and it just catches my eye and I love it. You know, I like all the Batmans, but some of them I just buy so that I have that Batman. They're not that super cool. This is super cool. I love the colors of the suit. All right, my buddy, Barry, from Unlock the Con. I consider him a good friend. And our friendship formed because of Funko Pops. At one point, uh, probably about a year ago, I was trying to complete my Umbrella Academy line and I found somebody on eBay that was selling one of them and so I bought it from them and then I saw that they were from Auburn, Washington which is like two hours away from me so I sent him a message and I was like hey blah 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 I live in Yakima from Washington too I open up videos on my YouTube channel something along the lines of you know do you care if I give you a shout out when I open up this box and he's like yeah we have a bunch more Umbrella Academy pops too so we ended up working out a nice little deal basically completed my Umbrella Academy collection and we've been friends ever since then I helped him out get some uh, people aware of him and his company which is unlockthecon.com prior to the pandemic what they do is they go around to the various cons shows whatever in the Pacific Northwest and they have a program where you could either they have a, a pop that you want or you have a pop that you want signed and they'll you can ship that to them they'll take it to a convention get it autographed for you, authenticated, mail it back. Pretty cool. But they also have a brand new shop that they opened up over on the west side. Um, yeah, I mean, he was selling out of his garage or some type of room in his house, and they have taken the jump and expanded into actually brick and mortar. So go check them out. I believe they still sell on eBay. Um, you can still purchase online with him. A lot of good pops. Like I said, really good guy. Him and his wife, Barry and Ashley. Go support him. They're good people. And he does mystery boxes occasionally. Not very often, but when he does, they're amazing. And I like to get them all. This one's sold out really fast like very fast I might have gotten two if it hadn't sold out so fast I usually talk myself into buying a second one as far as I know there might have been glam shots I don't remember if there were he usually does put up glam shots glam shots um, it doesn't matter I'm gonna buy one of his boxes no matter what I like to support Barry and Ashley get really really good value back on these the other thing I like is that like I said he lives here in Washington so they get here super fast this got here in two days I was really hoping that it would arrive yesterday on my day off but no 
This thing is packed full. I mean, there's there's going to be Funkos in here. There's usually other things, Pez dispensers, lounge fly, little knickknacks and toys. I'm not sure if he counts those towards the value of the box. I can't remember. Every box that we've ever ever opened from him has been pretty much double value or more. Ooh, speaking of that, really quick. Sorry, Barry. I know you're like, yes, I can't wait. Um, I bought my first. Chrono Toys mystery box in a long time. I can't even remember the last Chrono Toy mystery box. I think they were the $35 damage ones back in almost a year ago that had all the giant ladies in them. I mean, you got to go into the Chrono Toy mystery boxes knowing that they are inventory dumps. They're getting rid of a bunch of exclusives that they bought way too many of that aren't selling fast enough and they need to make room for the new exclusives that they're going to buy way too many of that aren't going to sell fast enough. That was $50 shipped. Free shipping. Shipping is never free. They include that in the box. Anyway. Um, guaranteed value, minimum value of like $80 and up. That's one of the things that's okay about Chrono. You might get a bunch of inventory dumps. You do end up selling them all. But if you can make back more than double your investment, even if you end up having to sell some of them for less than PPG, which I actually don't think I ever have, except for the Giant Ladies. I did end up selling the Giant Ladies for less than PPG just because there were so so many of them they just saturated the market and nobody wanted them I did get my logo where's my logo right there made in exchange for a trade of one of the giant ladies so that worked out very well I am expecting there to be a lot of anime pops which I don't collect but a lot of people do and they're cool pops and they're desirable so I'm looking forward to that video I think one time we got triple value that would be sweet oh and there's also some grails that you can pull there's a bloody alien from San Diego comic-con which would be amazing to get because I love the aliens I collected them for a while but then they just keep releasing Batman Pops. They don't stop releasing Batman Pops and I don't stop buying them. Which means I don't stop running out of room. So let's just get in here. Barry gets mad if I open up from the bottom. So we'll open up from the top so Barry doesn't get mad. Just kidding Barry. I guess because this is a mystery box, he didn't do anything creative with my name. It's one of the things that he loves to do is come up with weird things with my name. Which you would have seen in a prior video. So, we got some stuff. We got their card. Thank you. Thank you. Purchase Unlock the Con. If you had a positive experience, please leave us feedback or write a review. If not, please reach out to us right away so we can make it right. We appreciate your business and also invite you to visit us on Facebook. Just look for Unlock the Con. Barry and Ashley. They have their phone number on here, so give Barry a call. Send him a random text. Probably don't send nudes if you really want to. Depending on what it's a nude of. He's got a good sense of humor. He'd probably like it. I sent him a nude once. He didn't like it that much. It wasn't me. I don't even... Yeah. Oh, I remember actually what it was. It was a good nude. Alright, let's feel around in here. Looks like there might be a couple pops. And then a skinny thing. 
So it feels like two pops and a skinny thing. Uh, oh, well, it's a good thing that we didn't uh, rip open the packaging because the packaging is actually part of the product itself. Yay! We got a pop pin. Good old Ron Weasley. It's for sale. I don't collect Harry Potter stuff. I only have one pin. Actually, I need... I need the Joker pin. Not necessarily need the Joker chase pin. I mean, if I ever pulled that out of a mystery box, I'd be happy as a clam in a clam bed. But pins are cool. Oh, and uh, my brain always goes down rabbit trails because I think about stuff. Uh, I have been rewatching Game of Thrones, which, if it's been a while since you've done that, I highly recommend it. So, it is so good. And I've decided to get some of the Funko Pops from Game of Thrones. Not all of them, obviously, because there's way too many of them. And a lot of them are just common trash. But my favorite, favorite characters. Um, I like the Night King. He's just creepy as hell. I like Tyrion. I like Arya. And I, my favorite character by far in that whole series is Jaquen. Jaquen? Jaquen? I don't probably butcher his name, but he's a really cool character. So, a boy needs that pop. Alright, let's get on to the Funko Pops. They are both in protectors, so I don't know which one has more value. Good job not taping your bubble wrap. Boom. Oh, I think we have two of these now. Jin Sakai from the video game Ghost. Hold on. All right, so this is a little bit confusing. Yes, we do have Jin Sakai that we pulled out of a recent mystery box. But this one is a special edition sticker. All right, so these are slightly different. Maybe the special edition one is metallic? It kind of looks metallic. Oh, it's got a bloody sword. All right, so the one that we just pulled has the ghost on the box, and it's black and gold. This one says PlayStation, and it's blue. And he's got a bloody sword and blood splatter, splatter on his face. Those are cool. Look at that. We got the complete Jin Sakai set. <laughs> Hooray! Let's see how we're doing on value. Oh, and I'm not bashing this at all. This pop is really cool looking. Really, really good detail. I haven't played console games forever. Alright, Ron Weasley has a value of fifteen dollars not bad it's kind of a standard value for most of those pins and gin oh well, the bloody one actually has decent value it's twenty five dollars but the one we got is seventeen dollars so we're at thirty two dollars in value right now oh I, I don't think I ever talked about the price did I these were forty five dollars plus ten dollars shipping so we're in fifty five dollars into this we're at 32 so far. I think I might have pulled the right one. This next one should be the hit. Let's find out. Buble wrap. Oh, these are in seven bucks a pop. Pop protectors. Boom. Oh, so this is a good one. Not something I collect, but there's a lot of these. I've seen so many mayor chases. It's cool. I've never watched this show. Mayor 
Turner Chase. So the common one, he's holding a bullhorn. This one, he's holding some type of... I'm not sure what. It looks like a diagram. There's like animals. Very interesting. I'm pretty sure this thing is like the value of the box. Let's find out. So Mayor Chase has gone down in value over the last few months. I remember when it was like fifty, sixty dollars. Um, current value is thirty-eight dollars, and he's holding Halloween plans. The plans for Halloween. So thirty-eight. 32 that's 70 bucks not bad not bad at all for a $45 box I'm telling you that's that's why they sell out so fast because that's what happens it's $70 in value <laughs> none of these fit in my very narrow genre of things I collect so if you're interested in any of these let me know They'll be going up on whatnot eventually, but before they do, you can get a hold of me. We can work out a deal. Thanks, Barry and Ashley. Another incredibly valued box. Good job. Talk to you guys later. Have a great night and rest of your week. Peace.